shitheads, TJ here, and I am back with another episode of The Shit Show. Why The Shit Show? Well, because SHOT Show is not happening this year. You know why. Because of the coof. We can't go to SHOT Show and hang out. So we're doing something almost as good. It's called The Shit Show. It's a show where we bring you SHOT Show booths right into your phone, right into your TV, right into your PC, wherever you're watching this. We bring the SHOT Show shit show right to you. And today we're with Austin Romero from Edge Eyewear. Tactical Shit is an Edge Eyewear dealer. I wear Edge Eyewear all the time, and I love them because they don't fog up, and I can't break them. Uh, Austin, what, what's going on, brother? How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you guys been? We're doing uh, good. Pretty good so far. I mean, I haven't died from COVID yet. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, know what? You didn't get the big Rona. You know, nah, no, the, no first Rona. Thing, the first thing I got to ask is like, you know, with all this Rona shit, the one thing I like about my edge I wears is that when I put my Koof mask on, I, they mm -hmm. don't fog up. Well, oh, yeah. They're, that's interesting because, they, you know, they're, they're made not to fog up in yeah. tactical situations because your adrenaline gets up, your body temperature rises, you start breathing heavily, mm -hmm. you're wearing a mask. You know, so that you hide the drug dealers from your face when you're crashing the front door. You know, they're mm -hmm. made not to fog up in that situation, but now they can save everyday Americans. And why is that, Austin? Why don't they fog up? Yeah, so we got um, our vapor shield anti fog. It's cured under the lens during manufacturing process. It's not a coating that we put on. Um, it's not going to wipe off or anything like that. You know, you talk about the Koof masks. I got my Koof mask right here. Um, you know, we put them on. Uh, a lot of people around, you know, have been doing the uh, the mask thing, whether they want to or not. But you know how it is. Um, so you can grab the the glasses, try them on. You can see, <sighs> ain't no fogging up on here. I'll come in real close. <sighs> so -proof. they don't. Coof they are proof glasses. Coof -proof. Very coof proof. Very coof proof. Um, so yeah, we've had a lot of. I mean, a lot of people have been using that for the for that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been helping out for. For just that in general i mean cold weather normally it works anyway because you got the transition where you're getting out of your hot car cold air but i mean just all year the 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 rona has been wreaking havoc on everyone and people have been calling us all the time saying i need something's not going to fog up man i can't yeah. even, and can't these even glasses, live my life not only will these glasses protect you from ballistic shards of lead and and copper jacket as they bounce off of things it'll also yep. protect you from the covid because covid goes through your eyeballs too and it just yep. bounces right off. So you got to, that's yep. why it's cool now to wear your sunglasses inside. Yep. That's the new thing again. Yeah. What about it? So. Three masks, three <laughs> masks, a pair of sunglasses and a fucking uh, burka. And you're good. Yep. I think I, you're not going to get the coup. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought you could walk into the bank all covered up like that anymore? <laughs> but uh, no, here for sure. Some money. <laughs> But yeah, so we've been doing well with that. Um, 2021, uh, we got a bunch of new glasses that we'll have out. Um, hopefully later this year, um, get a handful of new models. As you know, Rona kind of slowed down some production, things like that, and just how things are. Um, but last year, last summer, we had our Vapor Shield Anti Fog. We had our Polarized. They were kind of doing their own thing because we couldn't really get them together. Uh, well, we finally were able to get them together, and now we can do a Polarized Vapor Shield. So you get the best of both worlds, fishing, living your life. They're not going to fog, but you also get the polarized. We have them in our uh, Hamel model. Um, and I think you wear this model of the Hamel. Yep, yep I do. So that's the one I you do. Yep. The so I'll send you Hamels. Yep. And I'll send you a pair of these so you can try out the new technology. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. So, so now I can use these when I'm offshore fishing. I can see deeper into the water and I'm still not going to fog up when I go to the yacht club and I got my mask on. Or, or, you know, when I'm sport fishing, I'm also typically wearing a mask, not to cover my mouth, but to cover my face from the sun. So mm -hmm. that, would, that would also help. Exactly. Yeah. So it's been awesome so far. Great uh, feedback, great reviews. I switched over to the polarized vapor shield, obviously, once we got them in. So we can get them in the Hamel in all the frame colors. And then we've got the, sorry, wrong one, the uh, Blade Runner, which is our other sunglass style one, um, also has it. So new models, like I said, uh, been doing great people love them so far it's one of the top sellers in our store you know we've got your glasses right next to another case of glasses we sell that you know it's a company named after a tree with an ley on the end and uh you know yeah. your glasses are just as cool looking 
just as mm -hmm. durable, even more durable in most cases. You know, they're, they're ballistic lenses in all cases when not always nope. the other company. And you guys are a fraction of the price. What is that? What, what's the average price point for these glasses? I mean, we sell the living shit out of them. Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to range for like the sunglass style ones, the Hamel, like I said, our best seller. You're about 50 bucks for the non polarized and the polarized vapor shield, I think, are like 75, 80 retail. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's an awesome deal. Uh, you know, some of the other guys, I could tell you probably three or four of our glasses for the price you're going to pay for some of the other guys for some of the same, you know, polarized lenses. So, yeah, I mean, it's a value. It's a deal. We didn't want to come into this trying to uh, gouge everybody's wallets and stuff like that. You know, just want to get you a good product for a good price. And uh, like you said, everything's ballistic rated, passes the uh, mil specs and ANSI standards. Um, like you said, I mean, we have the steamer out here. Uh, show me how that works. So every year at SHOT Show, these guys got this uh, steamer. It's the same steamer you would use to, uh, to, to take wrinkles out of clothing, right? Exactly, and so you yeah. use this as proof positive that these glasses don't fog up. Because I guarantee yeah. you, no matter, no matter how hot shit gets, your breath is not going to be this, this hot and moist. That's crazy. No, I, mean, I always you thought you guys it. were stealing those from the rooms at the, at the casino. <laughs> I didn't know you actually brought your own. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, like, we... look at these guys. They steal one every year. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we probably could have saved some money doing it that way. I got drunk in the circle bar last year and tried to do the same thing in my room with an iron, but uh, it didn't work so well. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you can see right here. I mean, I'll run it through the steamer right here for – I mean, I can stand here as long as until it stops burning my hand, but – I mean, yeah, you can see they don't fog up at all. Uh, yeah, and then I'll be honest, you know, so I do a lot of um, I, I do a lot of UTM scenario training at West Orlando Firearms Training and other great training centers across America because two way range is the only range that you want to that I want to train on anymore. And uh, you know, when your adrenaline is up and your fear your heart is pounding and you're wearing a helmet and glasses or goggles and you got on a face mask or some sort of UTM helmet or some sort of strike helmet, you know, for hand to hand. It doesn't matter what happens. You are fogging up. And as soon as you fog up, you're a dead man because you can't see shit. And that happens yep. in real life. And that's the problem that you guys are solving and solving at a fraction of the cost of the people that don't even care about the problem. Oh, and yeah, absolutely. And, you know, um, that was, like I said, that was our goal. And that's kind of our thing is, you know, anti-fog is what we're trying to do. And like you said, if you can't see, A, the first thing you do is take them off and throw them off because you got to see. And that leaves your eyes susceptible to any sort of damage or something like that that can happen. Um, we've had plenty of people, you know, write us. Uh, we, on our website, you can go see like testimonials of people just saying, you know, I, you know, we have some officers say, I got in a gunfight and some shrapnel blasted off my buddy's helmet and hit me in the face, but my eyes are okay and I can still see. That's so, awesome. I mean, yeah, so great stuff like that. Um, and so for your, I think for, I your, just, for your normal just, guy, like, you know, guys that might not be taking shrapnel in the face, I can tell you that mm -hmm. uh, with the thin sides on the temples, you can wear them inside a helmet if you're riding motorcycles. You want, you have a clear visor. You can put that visor down. The glasses aren't going to fog up when it starts getting cooler during the evening. That's super important. And uh they don't fog up when I'm like riding. I'm getting really into the right. corners. None of that's happening, and it doesn't hurt my head too much because they're not pushing against you know the padding, pushing against my temples. Yeah, so. and that was another thing that we were gonna bring up. Yeah, the thin temple design. So most of the models now come with a thin temple option. Everything going forward will be thin temple. Um, so edge that'll be our thing. Vapor shield and thin temple. Um, but yeah, like you said, I mean I was gonna kind of bring that up. Motorcycle riding. And everybody talks about it fitting under the helmet more comfortably. And back to shooting when you put on your ear pro again it's designed so you don't get a headache after you know only shooting for a half hour or training or whatever the case is that's awesome because i've i've experienced that and it's not fun no uh, that shit is not fun so, so last year you showed me a shot show the goggles i know you still have the goggles now are mm -hmm. you doing the are you doing the goggles in the uh in the polarized with the vapor shield or is that something coming down the road we do have some new goggles that are under uh they're you know getting uh, designed and stuff they're under design going in those ones Super we have secret squirrel yeah <laughs> those ones we did last year um those won't become polarized those are more for like uh jumping out of airplanes and a lot of the airsoft guys seem to like them but you know they're more for like you know the entry teams and then jumping yeah. out of airplanes well, things like that i'll tell you what a lot of guys are building helmets right now you know night vision is the next body armor yep. and uh nobody wants to buy night vision until they own a helmet 
And so people are buying a lot of bump helmets and some guys are, you know, going to the ballistic helmets and then they're, they're decking these things out and goggles are, you know, something that you really need if you're going to run that helmet during the day, yeah. especially. Yeah. And, and I've so, got some helmets right over here. I can grab some real quick. Yeah, show me real quick. Yeah, I can do that. I know we've got, there's some that we've been testing. I thought there was some, let me grab one real quick. Yeah, here's one right here. <laughs> oh, we're back. So yeah, they got the straps. They're actually going to be coming with uh, some interchangeable straps as well. That'll be just we can just Velcro it around the back. Come with the rubber strap, low profile. I mean, you can see yep. they're super thin, so they're not going to be bulky mm -hmm. sticking off your face. But yeah, like you said, um, you know, we've tried to test them, make them super thin, so people can pull down their uh, night vision off their helmet, things like that too. So um, some of the things yeah. that we went in, that went into our design. But yeah, these also have the vapor shield. Hey, will you send send me a pair of those too? Would you? Yeah, I'll get you some just, of these. Just put it ones. on my put it on my bill. <laughs> I'll put it on your tab, your <laughs> shot show tab. Yeah, shit show this year. Yeah. No, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'll get you some of those for sure. Um, Sweet. yeah, and I know one other thing, and I'm sure. I mean, you guys know this. The everybody been buying guns this last year. Um, I think I read it was third. The FBI did 37 or whoever does the background checks, 37.9 million background checks last year, which was up. 40% from the year before. Yeah, 9.3 million first time gun buyers, mostly women, minorities, mm -hmm. um, people of transgender and alternative <laughs> sexual orientations, yeah. as, as well as uh, <laughs> as well as a shitload of surprise, not, you know, anti gunners, <laughs> all went out yep. and bought guns, which is <laughs> one, just one of the contributing factors of not having any fucking ammo anywhere. Yeah, it's been a year. pain. Yep, I can't find ammo anywhere. I think I bought some off your website a few times. Well, and... I do have some right now. I don't know when this video is coming out, but at at the time of this shooting, uh, we've got uh, we've got seven six two by thirty nine brass, seven six two by thirty nine steel, nine millimeter brass, FMJ one fifteen, and two two three fifty five grain. But I can't keep it in stock. I fight every single day to try to find ammo for our customers. <laughs> it is brutal out there. My prices yeah. go up every fucking week to the point where oh, it's, I believe it. you know, we're looking at, we're looking at uh five, five, six is now over a dollar yeah. uh, per round. And, and you know, we, nine is going that way. And uh, you know, unfortunately there's is, well, let me ask you, is there a shortage of eyewear? Because first time gun buyers, that's one thing they need to buy, right? Is it, a pair of eyewear to yep. shoot at the yep. range so so how did your business fare the last six or eight months what's your lead times yeah we got bombarded um like most people with eyewear both you know in the industries and then you know just people want to buy in general so i mean we're starting we're catching back up getting things back in so we're gonna be good but i mean yeah the the prices on everything or i mean you know trying to get anything these days has been uh, been a pain but um, most of our stuff is back in where we're getting things folded back in. We'll have, uh, some, uh, containers coming in in the next couple of weeks. So, um, we'll have some more good stock in, uh, and that, you know, that kind of led me into this, the, uh, the shooting, all that stuff, these glasses, I think you may have seen these, but the sharp edge, yeah. the sharp edge, thin temple, uh, probably the most comfortable glass that we have and that we make best range glass you can get. I mean, look at how thin those temples are. Woo. I mean, Super thin, super lightweight, comfortable, comes standard with vapor shield. You can get them in a kit, you know, three, two, three lens kit if you want. Um, but I know all the people that have been shooting are also scared that there's almost 10 million new gun owners out there. <laughs> Plus the uh, 10 million new gun owners also need their own uh, eyewear. Yep. So I definitely recommend these. Um, like I said, lightweight, most comfortable glass, in my opinion, that we make. Uh, best range glasses that we have. Um, come with a cleaning bag, hard case. If you want to get the kit, if you just want the glass by itself, comes with the cleaning bag still, as you guys know, all of our glasses come with a cleaning bag. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, as far as lead times, I mean, it's, it's, we're catching up finally. And yeah. I'm probably gonna have to go onto your website after this and get me some nine millimeters so I can, uh, <laughs> you know, spend my whole paycheck on like 10 rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Those cleaning yeah, it's, bags it's, are nice. Cause you can set them up in your, uh, in your little glasses holder in your truck and then you know when your shit gets dirty at the range you're just like oh, oh there we go yeah just wipe it off real quick Hell and yeah yeah good thing with our vapor shield is don't have don't use any chemicals i mean worst case you use a little bit of water if they're super dirty i mean mm -hmm. but the cleaning bag should do enough to keep them clean and you'll be okay you want to hear something really scary i was talking to a firearms manufacturer right before this call 
and uh, uh, they're terrified because they can't, the, the big manufacturer can't find nine and they sell nine millimeter handguns. And really? you can't sell a handgun legally in the United States without firing test rounds through it. So uh -huh. if the manufacturers run out of test round ammunition, production stops. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know they had to test each one. Yeah, and for those guys with those connections, those relationships, and those deep fucking pockets, not be able to find ammo, that should tell the rest of you trolls that call me a cocksucker for selling it for 75 cents to piss the fuck off. <laughs> Meanwhile, CZ is coming out with a 45 striker fire because hell yeah. Yeah, but you so can't I'm, find 45 anywhere. Yeah, you can't I, haven't, find 45. I, haven't, I haven't seen 45 or 380, <laughs> you know, in six months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the ammo shortage is, is that shit's out of control, man. Yeah. So we're um edge eyewear, you said you got shipping containers coming in. Where are these things made at? That's something everybody always wants to talk about. Yeah, so they're designed everything here, then Taiwan is where we have them made. Yeah, okay. we don't support China or anything no, like that. That's, that way. I, I didn't think so. I didn't know no. so, but I didn't think so, and that's why I put you on the spot. <laughs> you know. Oh, you're good, uh, man. Yeah, I'm perfectly Maybe. cool with Taiwan, Philippines, you know, things like that. But uh, yeah. China's on the China's on the shit list. Right. Yep. For and for all the guys too, like military, they, you know, they have to be TAA and Barry compliant. They know what that is, so yep. um, they're all good on that too. So Sweet. anybody's trying to use them. So. So you have you yeah. have Bar Barry compliant um, edge eyewear. Yeah, well, the textiles are the bag right. and all that. Okay. They have to be, yeah. So, everything's good on that end. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's 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 where we're at on that. Uh, Sweet. So, what what is your what's the website? If somebody wants to go research more, watch your videos, uh, that sort of thing, what website can they go find? Yeah, um, I'll bring, let me bring in my media guy, my marketing guy. We're actually revamping everything. Okay. He's right here. I'm gonna let him come in, and uh, he'll you know explain all that what we've got going on. Right on. What's up, dude? How you doing? Yeah, we're gonna switch that's because uh, the left. Uh, oh, that's sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, let me, let he me has so many things. COVID's like no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you well, cannot get COVID alcohol in your wipes. ear hole. You cannot get yeah, COVID what? in your ear hole. Otherwise, they'd have us walking around with headphones on. Well, now that they see this, th that'll be the next thing. Is like, oh, we've just discovered that this is the new way to get it. So yeah, well, you, you um, heard that the new, the new, the new effective way to test for COVID, according to the Chinese, is anal swabbing. <laughs> I, I, you I know, know what's know fucked up about that, that though is you, you know if the Chinese are doing it, we're gonna end up doing it here, and oh. that is going to increase the rate of testing so much in america oh, yeah. you're going to yeah. realize how gay everyone really is yeah that's probably already occurring in washington as we speak but um anyway no, tell us we, about social media where and 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 the website and and all the things at edge eyewear introduce yourself first uh my name is paul carter i'm the social media manager here and um i do a lot of the videos that you guys see on social media i'm in them all the time we did some cool ones recently we uh we were like smack in um a baseball bat like uh total what's that show the the walking dead style that yeah. for halloween we were hitting zombies in the face yeah it's right here thank you Austin. oh yeah so yeah just totally uh yeah I got all the nails those. in it so yeah. yeah it was fun it was hard to build but it was it was a lot of fun to do so um anyway our website yeah we we just launched a new website and it's um it's just edgeeyewear.com and then there's a tactical link at the bottom that will take you to that different division. So um, yeah, cause we've got our safety division and then our, our tactical division. Um, but we've got that. And then on Instagram, Facebook, uh, we are just edge tactical eyewear and we, we follow you TJ. We just posted a photo about you just the other day. So oh, really? I was the guy, yeah, I was the guy that when we, we reached out and asked if we could use it, you said you'd be honored. So we That's appreciate right. that. I do, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. So, Which proves yeah. to everyone that I do wear edge eyewear on a regular yeah. basis, especially when I'm training because I want something that's not going to scratch easy. It's not going to break when I fucking step on it. And it's also not going to fog up and cause me to get shot in the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we totally understand that like, 
we're not going to really compete with that other brand that you mentioned earlier that named after a tree with an L E Y afterwards. But, um, <laughs> we, yeah, we want to make something that is less or it's more cost effective and, um, then people can just swap that out when they're on the range. And yeah, if it does happen to get scratched or whatever, they're not out there trying to justify to their wife why they need to go get a new pair of the super expensive ones. So, right. um, yeah, and we're out there just protect people's eyes, the whole vapor shield, you've seen all that. And the, the polarized vapor shield that, I mean, it has just destroyed the market. We right now in safety, you mentioned like supply chain, we don't even have any right now. So I think we're supposed to get a container in the next couple of days, but, um, yeah, it's social media, marketing, everything. We are, we're just, as a company, we're revamping everything this year. We brought on a bunch of new people. So Austin will finally get some help and, uh, marketing. We got a bunch of new people and we're rolling. So look, what we're kind of focusing on this year is we like to say that um, we are being disruptively innovative. And so we're just challenging the norms. You know, we, we feel like safety doesn't have to be just the sucky word. Like no one wants to have a safety glass on, you know? So yeah. that's what we've always strived to make something that's, that's really comfortable, fashionable. Nope. Like you guys, nobody gets laid ahead. walking into a bar when a woman thinks, man, he looks safe. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So yeah, you're, yeah, you don't look a bit masculine, you know, if you're just wearing a regular <laughs> safety glass. So, um, yeah, you guys mentioned like the thin temples and whatnot. Everything that we do is designed around solving problems. And so, yeah, with the 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 air protection and everything, we just we want our glasses to be compatible with all that. So, um, yeah, marketing wise, we are ramping up this year, and we're super excited for it. Sweet. Where, where are you guys located at? What, uh, which one of these 50 states do you call home? Uh, we are just outside Salt Lake City, Utah. So right um, a lot of, lot of so freedom yeah. loving companies in Utah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, it's great. I'm a, I'm a bow hunter. So, I mean, we've got like Hoyt Archery. We've got all these different Badlands packs. And then we got Traeger and Camp Chef here. So, um, yeah, it's fun. You can go hunt and then you can go grill it all up on on yeah. locally made stuff so that'd be an interesting uh, video you know these these glasses can take a, sh a 12 gauge shotgun with bbs mm -hmm. but can they take a can they take an arrow from a hoyt compound bow? they they can't um <laughs> so they are not bulletproof i've actually got the video we will have to post it um uh yeah you know what here we go Austin just pulled it up. I forgot that it's sitting here. <laughs> I'll bring it around. It's almost um, like we planned this, but we totally didn't. Yeah. I just pulled that out of my ass. That's funny. No, I actually ah. filmed the video last April. So yeah, these are these are my newer arrows. Um, and they, I think, I can't remember the exact grain on them, but they, they're they upwards of like 500 grains. And I mean, they're moving at like 307 feet a second. So yeah, they got right through. But yeah. Um, so, yeah, our glasses are not bulletproof. We always try and stress that, that, um, you know, the the shotguns, since it's such a small BB with a, a small amount of mass, like it's pretty easy to, to stop that. But um, yeah. yeah, go check out our YouTube. There's tons of videos on there of um, we've got we've got even like Belgian Malinois uh, chewing on them. Uh, we've got a shotgun from six meters away. Um, we got all sorts of stuff. So sweet. All right. Well, we will definitely use some of those videos. We'll share some of those videos in the coming okay. weeks. Uh, since cool. we sell yeah. your product anyway, we might as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah we would, uh, notorious we would really FDE it. will have to grab some of those. You two should work together. You're both social media professionals. <laughs> yeah, we actually, um, I've got all this contact information and we were planning on reaching out just a few days ago. And then Austin got this email from you guys. So we're like, oh, well, let's just hold off and Sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll start coordinating right after this. Well, I'm glad so. you guys did this. You know, it's been fun. We've done several of these so far, and we plan on continuing to do them through uh, through the rest of January, maybe a couple weeks into February, just to give companies like yours a chance to, you know, show what's new when they don't mm -hmm. have that, that the world stage of the shot show to do it. So, uh, yeah. do you have anything else for us? Otherwise, I think our time is winding down on the Zoom call thing that we got. Uh, we um, have five minutes left. I'm good. I just, I wanted to say thanks for doing this. Cause yeah, we, we, as a whole group here, we love watching Austin on camera after shot show and we'll see what you guys have done with him. <laughs> so his, his commentary is always really funny after like the one that you were talking about the, the shell bouncing back and landing in your, in oh. your glasses. Cause you can have yeah. your hat like, and so, his commentary was just, <laughs> it was really good. So, so that's yeah, a real I, story for those, for those of you who have didn't see that video or don't know me well enough to know that story. I was, uh, I learned to never ever shoot a gun without a ball cap on. Uh, I was wearing glasses, although they were not 
safety glasses. I was also foolish enough just to be wearing my prescription glasses at the time. And uh, I was firing a fully automatic um, uh, M4 in an indoor range with, you know, ballistic wall here, ballistic wall here. And uh, the, the rounds are kicking right, you know, casings are kicking right off that wall. And I'm mag dumping this thing. Remember, remember when we used to mag dump on the internet because it was cool? <laughs> um, that was before ammo was a dollar a round. So, you know, I'm mag dumping this thing. And one of the hot cases, one of the hot brass cases bounced off the, the wall came in my glasses and stuck between my glasses and my eyeball, literally singeing on my eyeball. When I, I immediately threw the semi-loaded, <laughs> not on safe machine gun onto the table, which it then in turn fell in slow motion backwards and landed upside down oh. on the ground aiming at the guy behind me. Fortunately, it wasn't an open bolt gun, so I didn't kill anybody that day. But, you know, it was a panic. You know, I got rid of the gun, got rid of the glasses, and uh, then I had to go in the bathroom and peel part of my eyeball off. Oh. <laughs> and fortunately, it was not in front of my cornea, and uh, I can still see. But it could have been could have been absolutely disastrous because I wasn't wearing a hat, and I wasn't wearing the right kind of glasses. These glasses are really tight to the to the temple so that bullets or casings can't get behind them uh, a regular pair of sunglasses you know sits out here with all this room and uh, that's another reason why you should have the right tools for the job yep yeah and that that's actually part of the standard in order to become safety rated and ballistic rated is that yeah it has to seal enough around um around your temples and everything so that that doesn't happen so sweet um yeah so anyway we we really appreciate just the opportunity to come on and do this and um, I'll be super insanitary and hand this back to Austin. Right on. I'm going to take these sunglasses off so you guys can see uh, my okay. beautiful face. Yeah, hold on just a second. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lick it. All it's right. like watching, it's like watching two girls, one cup. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, you know what? It's just one of those things. You just got to deal with it. <laughs> it's just one of those things. <laughs> it's one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so Austin. got to go with it. Thank you for coming on this shit show. It has been a shit show to remember. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next year, hopefully actually in, let's say Orlando. I'd like to see the shot show go back to Orlando. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that'd, that'd, be be, nice. that'd be sweet. We could have Tactical Shit's local store there. I'd be able to stay at my own house. You know, there so you if you're listening, NSSF, we vote for Orlando. They don't have as bad of uh, COOF re uh, regulations Coof as Vegas. Yeah, yeah, they don't have those uh, the commie dictators out there like some of these other places. Yep. So that's no, good. that's awesome, man. Thanks for doing this again. Thanks for putting all of this on. Uh, I'm, you know, like I said, I'll send you guys out some glasses. Uh, let me know what your team needs, what they want. We'll definitely get you guys taken care of. Um, right on. Like I said, all the new shooters out there, definitely please get some safety glasses. And all the old shooters, there's a lot of new shooters out there. Please get some safety glasses. Yep. Um, oh, one other thing. Can't believe I almost brought this. We're gonna do a giveaway on our page. So okay. um, yeah, we're gonna do, do yeah, so we're gonna do uh, one of these kits, one of these sharp edge kits that I was talking about. And then we're gonna do a polarized vapor shield, um, the TJ special exclusive FDE <clears throat> green yeah. polarized vapor shield Hamel. We're gonna do one of those. Um, so how do they win together. that? So how we're gonna they... post a page, we're gonna post on our uh, Instagram, so go to our Instagram. Okay. Um, we're gonna post those glasses, you know, kind of reference uh, shit show. And uh, just go on there and, uh, you know, tag a friend, follow us, tag a friend, and then just hashtag, uh, you know, um, you know. Good show? Yeah, yeah, just tag a friend and, and you know, whatever, shit show 21, whatever. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll find a way to pick the winner that way, shit show 21. Tag right it on. on there, tag your You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give away a pair of sunglasses too. If you share this video by putting it in your story, by reposting it on your Instagram, by re by sharing it on Facebook, uh, or what you know, if you do that and you tag us and we know yeah. you shared it, we will uh, yeah, Gab, me, we, all those things. Uh, parlor, hopefully when it comes back. Maybe uh, we, yeah. we, if you share this video, uh, we will pick someone that shared it and send them a pair of Hamels as well. My treat. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, go to our page, find our one. It'll have a picture of those glasses, tag a friend, follow us, Shit Show 21. We'll pick a winner, probably like February 12th. I'm not sure when you're posting this, um, but... I'll make it the end uh, of February. Give them a month. You okay. know, this, shit will, this shit will go out probably in the next couple of days, and uh, okay. we'll give them yeah. enough time to 
to get it out there and, and whatnot. Okay, yeah, the link, the link to their do. Instagram will and be we'll, down we'll there. We'll have it all there. written down how to how Perfect. to do the stuff down below for yeah. people who are like, wait, what do I gotta do? I can't write that fast. <laughs> Don't worry, it's written down there. You can figure it out. Yeah, no, that'll work. Let's do that then, and we'll do it at the end of the last day of uh, February. We'll do all a drawing right. then, and we'll uh, get the stuff out. All right, guys, we got to wrap it up. I think we're running out of time, probably Perfect. to yep. the second. Austin, it's been awesome. Thanks for joining the shit show. We got more coming out after this. I have no idea from who, but I know we got a couple cool companies left to show you guys this uh, 2021. All right. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Austin. See you guys. See you guys. All right. All right. All right.